And David, when we flip it from offense to defense, we're looking at a Georgia team that has. Do we its, have to? Do we have to, Mark? We, we're going to. We're going to hold you to it. You, you got to. We bring you on here for the tough questions, David, because I can't answer them. So you got a four-headed monster at running back for Georgia, as they typically do. I think they've uh, narrowed it down a little bit more, but basically four guys have gotten the carries this year, and we know they're all four and five stars. We know the names, and we got uh, the offensive line. We're talking experienced offensive line, super talented NFL players. We know the deal. Last time Florida was on the field was against LSU, an LSU rushing attack that basically hasn't done much against anybody. Yep. And then Ty Davis-Price goes wild, sets yep. records. Wow, the, the formula just looks awful. And that's why you it don't does. want to talk about it. It, it, it does, Mark. And you know, maybe, you're, maybe you're hoping for something like what happened with Florida LSU, maybe something that you don't expect to play out. It, maybe it plays out that way. You know, Football's been weird in 2021, but that's what we're talking about. It, we're talking about something that has to happen that you don't expect to happen. And you, did we really expect Florida to be in that situation coming in this Georgia game? You know, you're, you're looking for something that's kind of just going to be off record, off key. Uh, for a reason Florida can win this game. And look, Georgia's had a lot of success, you know, minus last year, but there was a lot of early success before Stetson Bennett got hurt. A lot of success versus Todd Grantham's defense. Uh, since Dan Mullen's come and Todd Grantham was defensive coordinator, if I'm remembering right, Mark, I'm trying to think, 18, it was a 10 nothing lead for Georgia. 19, I think it was a 10 nothing lead for Georgia. They got a 14 nothing last year. You're not getting down to this Georgia defense. And coming back. So it's imperative that, you know, Florida's defense shows up, shows up early in the game, more so than they have in recent years. And you look at what you mentioned in the last time Florida's defense was on the field versus LSU, a team that didn't run the ball all that well coming into the Florida game. Surely, surely didn't run it well versus Ole Miss last week in the game after Florida. Yeah, they had nowhere near that production outside of the Florida game. So it doesn't, you know, it's not trending well for Florida. You know, Florida had – Done okay in, in stopping the run up to that point versus LSU. Held Alabama less than 100 yards. Um, Kentucky's run game had some success, but not their normal success that they ha have had th throughout the season when they played Florida there. So you've been able to point to a little bit of metrics for this Florida defense. Say, yeah, they've improved, but, Mark, for me, it was always, 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 always. I don't care what you do versus FAU, USF, Vanderbilt, the season was always going to be Mark. What do you do versus Alabama? What do you do versus LSU? What do you do versus Georgia? 0 and 2 so far. Uh, and on and a defense, very slow start versus Alabama earlier this year, complete bottom fallout versus LSU. And now, what do you do versus Georgia? Uh, a very consistent offense, an offense that's very balanced, a very offense that an offense that can take their shots because of how that run game gets going. And if you know, Todd Grantham doesn't have an early game plan. Florida's going Florida's to fall behind early on again, and you're not coming back on that Georgia defense. 